If you've been looking for faster WordPress hosting, you've probably heard of Cloudways, but are they really that fast? And how do you configure Cloudways to run as fast as possible? Which cache plugin and CDN should you use? And how do you configure your cache plugin settings for the absolute fastest load time and time to first byte? Well, in this video, I'll be showing you how to set up your WordPress site on Cloudways including the same configuration I use to get a fast time to first byte and fully loaded time in GT metrics. We'll also be running speed tests comparing two of Cloudway's most popular plans, DigitalOcean and Vulture High Frequency. But let's take a step back. What is Cloudways? Cloudways is essentially a middleman between cloud hosting providers like DigitalOcean, Vulture, AWS, Google Cloud, and Linode. You can go straight to DigitalOcean or Vulture and buy cloud hosting there for half the price, but then you would be doing everything in command lines and you wouldn't have access to a dashboard where you can actually do things or support. So unless you're experienced with managing a server, then I really wouldn't recommend it. Instead, Cloudways gives you a simple dashboard where you can set up a WordPress site in just a few minutes. Just sign up, launch a server, choose a cloud host like Vulture High Frequency, add your domain name, update DNS records, then add SSL and you're pretty much done. Or if you already have a website, you can use the Migrator plugin or request a free migration in their dashboard, which I'll leave instructions to in the video description. So yes, it does require a few extra steps, but is it worth it for speed and performance? Well, we're going to find out. So let's talk about those speed tests. We'll start by setting up two servers on Cloudways. One will be a one gigabyte server on DigitalOcean Premium. The other will be a one gigabyte server on Vulture High Frequency. The DigitalOcean server will be hosted in San Francisco and Vulture High Frequency will be in Silicon Valley. Since we wanna keep the data centers close to each other so the results are more accurate when testing them. Then we're going to install the same exact Astro Starter site with Elementor on each website and test their time to first byte and fully loaded time in tools like GT Metrics and KeyCDN's performance test, which measures TTFB in 10 global locations. So without further ado, let's start setting up Cloudways and run these tests. The first step is to sign up for Cloudways. Enter your name, email, and password. I would best describe myself as a blogger and monthly hosting spending is zero to $50. Got a promo code? Yes, I do. It's OMM25. And that gives you 25% off your first two months of hosting at Cloudways. Agree to the terms of service, then click start free. Cloudways will send you an email to verify your account. Once you're signed up, you'll be taken to the Cloudways dashboard. The first thing you'll do is launch a server. You should be prompted to do this, otherwise you can just go to Servers, Add Server. For the application, select WordPress. You can use your business name as the app name and server name, then select the type of cloud server you want. Each of them have different pricing, but DigitalOcean and Vulture are definitely the most popular. DigitalOcean starts at $10 a month for their smallest one CPU server, but like Cloudways says, that's usually only enough to handle small or production websites. So if you're running resource-hungry plugins or themes or page builders, or you have a good amount of traffic, you'll want at least a two gigabyte server. But keep in mind that once you launch a server, it's a lot easier to increase your server size than to downsize it. You can bump it up to DigitalOcean Premium, which costs slightly more and uses faster CPUs from Intel, as well as NVMe storage, which is faster than SSDs. And when selecting Vulture, there's also an option for Vulture High Frequency, which is what I'm currently using. Vulture High Frequency on Cloudways is one of the most popular hosting plans in the WordPress hosting Facebook group. Gijo from WP Speed Matters ran a test comparing DigitalOcean and Vulture and found that Vulture High Frequency had the best response times. For smaller sites, a one or two gigabyte Vulture High Frequency server should be plenty. For my test, we're just gonna do the one gigabyte server. Next, you will choose your data center. The nice thing about Cloudways is that depending on which cloud host you choose, they have different data centers throughout the world. Obviously, you wanna choose a data center close to your visitors to reduce the distance between your server and visitors. And then on the bottom left, you'll see the pricing. Another nice thing about Cloudways is that it's monthly pricing with no long-term contracts. Finally, click launch now. Cloudways will launch your server, which takes a few minutes. Otherwise, when it's done, it will be listed here. I launched a one gigabyte server for DigitalOcean and Vulture, and we're gonna be testing those soon. 
But before we do, you should get familiar with the two main tabs in Cloudways, servers and applications. And then there's also the three dots, which are some add-ons. I'll be covering these more later, but for now, just note if you want to request a free migration from Cloudways, you can do this after launching your server under add-ons, application migration, then you'll basically just fill out a form to give them your details needed to move your site. Otherwise, to continue setting up your site, go to the Applications tab. Click on the application you created while launching your server, and the first thing you'll see are your access details as well as your WordPress login URL, which is something like cloudwaysapps.com with a bunch of numbers. The next step would be to change that URL to your actual domain name. To do that, head to your domain management and enter your domain name here. And finally, we're gonna need to update DNS records. Cloudways has instructions to connect your domain name with Namecheap, GoDaddy, and other domain registrars. In Namecheap, you would just go to your dashboard, find your domain, click manage, and go to advanced DNS. The A record is the public IP address found under access details in Cloudways. The C name is your domain name. You use the same formatting as shown on the screen, and Cloudways also has a video tutorial on this, which I'll leave a link to in the video description. The next step is to add an SSL, which you can do under SSL certificate. Cloudways provides you with a free SSL from Let's Encrypt. Just enter your domain name here, make sure auto renew is enabled for your SSL, and that part is done. Now you can go back to your access details in Cloudways and follow these to view and log into your WordPress site. I'm going to install an Astra starter site with Elementor on both the DigitalOcean and Vulture high frequency server, then measure the speed of both. So I'm going to quickly do that and fast forward this video. Now let's test both websites in GT Metrics and KeyCDN's performance test and see the results. Here is GT Metrics. And here is KeyCDN's performance test, which measures TTFB in 10 global locations. Note that as you get further away from the server, the TTFB usually gets slower. That's why it's important to choose a data center close to your visitors. It should also be noted that by default, Cloudways has built-in caching, which you can see in their dashboard under Servers, Manage Services. I would personally disable Varnish because it can cause issues on a lot of websites and then leave everything else as is. So you can also have the choice between Memcached or Redis, but if you wanna try out Redis, you will need to go to Settings and Packages, then go to Packages and install Redis here. The next thing you'll wanna do is go to this Cloudways tutorial and they will have instructions on adding some code to your wp-config file. Once you do that, you're going to install the Redis object cache plugin and enable object cache here, and that's how you install Redis. Under packages, PHP 7.4 should be enabled by default. PHP 8 isn't compatible with a lot of themes or plugins yet, so I would wait on upgrading to that. Also make sure you upgrade to the latest version of MariaDB. So you always want to check these in your Cloudways account to see if new versions are released. You can tweak the server settings further if you know what you're doing. WP Johnny has a great article on specific server settings, which I'll leave a link to in the video description. Next, which cache plugin should you use? Cloudways Breeze plugin or WP Rocket? And how do you configure the best settings? It's pretty well known in Facebook groups that WP Rocket usually gives you better results than Breeze. You can check multiple conversations and most people will be in favor of WP Rocket. On the downside, obviously it's an extra cost, which runs about $50 a year, slightly less if you sign up for their email list and use a coupon. And I'll leave a link to this page in the video description. I also use WP Rocket on Cloudways and create a tutorial and YouTube video on how to configure the best WP Rocket settings. The main things you want to test
CSS are in the File Optimization tab. Minify CSS and JavaScript should be enabled, but combining files should not since Cloudways uses HTTP2 servers. Optimized CSS delivery can cause layout shifts or CLS issues in Lighthouse, so make sure you test your site without this, with it, and if it is enabled, make sure you set a fallback critical CSS. And finally, make sure it's actually working by following the instructions from WP Rocket. Remove unused CSS should usually be done, and deferring or delaying JavaScript should always be tested carefully, which can help with render blocking resources and third-party code. Make sure you also take advantage of browser resource hints like preload and prefetch. The next question is, which CDN should you use on Cloudways? Both Cloudways CDN and WP Rocket's Rocket CDN use Stackpath. It's cheaper through WP Rocket, but I actually don't recommend using Stackpath. I'm a fan of Cloudflare for a free CDN and Bunny CDN for a premium one. To set up Cloudflare, you would just add your website and follow their instructions to change name servers, then head to your DNS settings and change your domain from DNS only to proxied. On a side note, even if you don't use Cloudflare for their CDN, their DNS is way faster than GoDaddy or Namecheap, to set up Bunny CDN, you would just sign up, create a poll zone and choose the locations you want, copy your CDN URL and paste it into WP Rocket CDN tab while making sure the CDN is enabled. Now let's go into the dashboard and walk you through a few things. So like I said, there's two main tabs in Cloudways. The first one is the servers tab and in monitoring, you can see your RAM usage and CPU, disk and bandwidth usage here. Vertical scaling is when you add server resources and you can scale up. Scaling down is not possible here. You actually need to clone your server, migrate your application or your website to the new server, and then delete the old server if you want to downscale. Here you can manage your backups and Cloudways does charge you 0.033 cents per gigabyte for your backups. There are a lot of other alternatives which you can find in Facebook groups. SMTP is where you configure email services like Gmail and I will leave a link to this tutorial in the video description. Now we're gonna head to the Applications tab. Under Monitoring, you can monitor other types of usage. In Bot Protection, you can stop spammy bots from hitting your server. It's similar to Cloudflare's Bot Fight Mode. Cron Job Management is where you add cron jobs. Backup Restore is where you can take on-demand backups. And then you have a bunch of application settings. Now under the three dots tab, there's three main things we wanna look at. Rackspace is the third-party email hosting service that is partnered with Cloudways. Cloudways does not provide email hosting, so if you want that, you need to purchase a Rackspace account through them, which is a dollar per email per month. Under application migration, you can request a free migration from Cloudways and just fill out their form and they'll do it for you. You get one free migration when you sign up and then I believe the rest are $25. Cloudways CDN, like I mentioned, I would not recommend using it since it uses Stackpath and you're better off with either Bunny CDN or Cloudflare. Now let's talk about Cloudways support. They're really easy to get a hold of. All you do is click need help on the right and you can start a live chat conversation or scroll down and open up a support ticket. I found their support has always been fine. It's not, you know, Kingsta or WPX or Name Hero, but I would say it's similar or even better than someone like SiteGround. You know, SiteGround support has gotten worse over the years, but Cloudways support used to be bad, but I feel like in the last year or two, they've been improving it. I've never had an issue with them, but there have been complaints that they're just too technical. Aside from my own biased experiences, Cloudways is also one of the most popular hosts in Facebook groups. You can join groups like the WordPress Hosting, WordPress Speedup, WSpeed Matters, the Cloudways Users Facebook group, or even WordPress for non-techies, which is run by Adam from WP Crafter. And if you look at Facebook polls, Cloudways has been the number one host in a lot of these polls. I know these are kind of biased, but it does show that a lot of people are using them and like them. Even just recently, I got this email from someone who found Cloudways through my blog and had a great experience with them. So is Cloudways right for you? Well, if speed and time to first bite are important, then I would say yes, they definitely are worth at least testing. 
I would say the biggest con of Cloudways are the extra costs that aren't included with them. So you don't get a free domain name. Cloudways doesn't even offer a domain name, so you'll need to buy it through someone like Namecheap. You don't get free email hosting. They have backup costs, which are 0.033 cents per gigabyte. And you also likely need to purchase WP Rocket. But are those extra costs worth it? I think so. I use them to host my own website, onlinemediamasters.com. This is for a post that is very long with over 50 images and over 600 comments. Or you can just join some Facebook groups and look at people's migration results. I would recommend Cloudways definitely over SiteGround, who has a slow TTFB now, reported by Backlinko, among other issues why I don't promote SiteGround anymore. I would also recommend them over GoDaddy, obviously. EIG brands like Bluehost and HostGator. Hostinger, who writes fake reviews, and I, I wouldn't use them ever just because of ethical reasons. They basically pose as customers, trick people into buying their hosting, vote for themselves in Facebook polls. A lot of this was admitted by their CEO, and I wouldn't recommend them either. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Feel free to leave me a comment if you have any questions. Otherwise, remember I do have a promo code LMM25, which gives you 25% off your first two months at Cloudways. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.